All right, that makes 13 reports right now uh, that another Russian general has been killed in the war in Ukraine. A Major General Roman Kutuzov, who was killed in the Dunbar fight, we're told, uh, adding to the list of top military commanders in Russia who've lost their lives fighting the big fight in Ukraine. Uh, to Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg, what he makes of all of that. General, always good to have you. They're going through generals pretty fast. What do you make of this? Yeah, Neil, thanks for having me. Look, it's kind of interesting because this is reportedly the 13th general they've lost with Kutuzov. And I'll give you an example, we lost one in Afghanistan in 20 years, and we lost five in all of Vietnam. The reason is it's two different leadership styles between our style and the Western style and the Russian style. They don't have the inner uh, level of leadership that we do, and they're young captains and majors and senior NCOs. When we give them mission-type orders, then they go execute. They don't have that, so they have to push their generals forward to lead from the front. Well, that really hurts them because the generals are very, you know, vulnerable to that. And when they lose those generals, they've got some real problems. There's reports they've lost over 300 senior level officers. I'm talking about majors, uh, regimental commanders that are colonels and generals. If that's the case, they've got a real leadership deficit. But, Neil, if I may just segue for a second. Something's really important has happened that I don't know if anybody's really picked up on. Last week, we said we were going to provide multiple launch rocket systems, L MLRS, the HIMARS, uh, to the Ukrainians. There's two versions. There's the, the, the track version, which is called an M270, and the wheel version, uh, which is called the HIMARS. It's like varsity and junior varsity. One fires 12 missiles, one fires six missiles at a time. And, and the reason why that's important, uh, those, those systems give the Ukrainians, or would give the Ukrainians, what they need to defeat the Russians on the east, because it gives them range. They can equate to the uh, Russian systems that are out there. Lethality, it doubles the lethality of the 155-millimeter howitzer, and they're very accurate because they're guided missiles they've got there. But we gave them four systems, four. In a battery, the lowest level the American Army fights at, there's nine systems. So you kind of say, what's this signal the United States is sending? And I think the signal they're sending is they're hoping that maybe, well, hey, Mr. Putin, we don't want to escalate any more. We don't want to give them these more systems than they need out there to fight this fight, because that is the one system that can actually hurt the Russians badly by giving them the MLRS. And we haven't done it. And for the life of me, I don't know. I talked to some people this weekend that work in the Pentagon, and I said, what was the rationale for giving them four systems, just four? And they just gave me that blank stare. They know better. Anybody who's worth his salt knows better. This is just a, it's, it's a foolhardy mission to only give them those limited systems out there when they actually need more. Remember, Zelensky's now lost almost 20 percent of Ukraine. Before the war started, uh, Russia had 7 percent. Now they're up to 20 percent. And I don't see this thing swinging right now the Ukrainian, Ukrainians' way unless they get some systems like the MLRS in great numbers. General, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.